Hey guys, I thought um, I haven't done a video for a while and I just thought I'd um, uh, give you a bit of a catch up on little things that I've been doing. Um, recently I have was forced to actually get um, a laptop um, and this is the one I came up with on eBay for 370 bucks. It's called a Lenovo um, W520. Um, I actually had a PS Vita and I actually sold it for like 400 bucks and then bought this. Specs were great. Um, I've done a few things to it. Um, as you can see, it's in very, very good nick. Um, specs are i7 uh, 2600Q or something like that. The one thing that I really went for, I had an already had an 8 gigabyte um, RAM in it, um, and it had a um, NVIDIA Quattro 1000M graphics card, which was a 2 gigabyte. Okay, so um, yeah, it's quite fat as you can actually see. Um, it's not totally thin or you know, walk around with it in your, in your bag or anything, it's quite heavy. Um, so, what I've done is I've gone ahead as I usually do and um, just done a few little upgrades before I get got it happening. It came with a 160 gigabyte SSD. Um, just wasn't enough for me, so I went for the um, what I was recommended or what I could find. Um, as you can see, all these little bits here. Um, there was no caddy for this. Uh, this is a um, hybrid. It's Momentus XT um, Seagate 500 gigabyte. Um, it's the hybrid. Um, so I've ended up going for some of this stuff. Um, it breathes really well, um, and you can just cut it to size. Um, yeah. The 8 gigabyte is actually, that's already in there, it has got two slots, so this has actually got four slots all up. Um, there are two slots are underneath the keyboard, and then these two are here. Um, again, I picked these two up for like, I think it was like 25 bucks or something, it was really cheap. And these are four each, so now I've got 16 gigabyte running. Um, yeah, so pretty wrapped. Um, and now I've got this running on Windows 10. Um, if you can actually see from here that, um, yeah, it had, what did it have going on it before? Uh, it had Windows 7 going on it as a genuine thing. Um, and I'll show you in a moment when I power it up. Funny thing about this is that Windows or, or Microsoft say that if you upgrade, um, to Windows 10, you can use your existing um, your your existing key, say from seven or or eight or whatever. Um, I had a lot of trouble with that, and um, I'll show you what I actually did to get it going. So this is genuine in this. This is a genuine Microsoft um, Windows 10, and it works. It works with the key as well. So give me a sec. I'll I'll put all this back together, and then um and then I'll we'll get going. Okay, I thought I'd show you the, the boot up time on this. Um, another feature that I wasn't too happy with was as you could possibly see before, it's got like a huge um, extended battery. The thing is the battery isn't that great on it anymore, so I've already ordered one of those. And this came with a multilingual um, keyboard, um, which has been a little bit annoying, but it's no big deal. I mean, again, I got a cheap one off eBay, so, um, so yeah, so I've got that coming too. Um, so this is this is hybrid. This is the hybrid drive. Um, again, this is in real time, and um, so yeah. So there's there's been some cool features that I've finally gotten around to. I mean, I've loved Windows Seven. Seven's been so awesome, and um, so much stuff you can actually do using and upgrading other people's. Um, Laptops with Windows 10, I found that I was very restricted to what I could actually do. Um, so yeah, as you can see, that's done. So that's with the hybrid, and I've got a lot installed on this now. Um, I've been, you know, pretty, um, you know, careful with what I do and, and don't install on this. Um, so, I'll get into it. Yes, okay, I've got Alienware on there, but anyway. So, um, first off the bat, um, I have to say that I did not know how much I could actually do with this, how much um, I could push this. The funny thing about this, this laptop is that 
I didn't know, but when you get these, especially with Lenovo's, they are already restricted on the BIOS. Because I was like, I got it. And then I went to use the graphics and it said that it was just lagging and it was like just struggling, even though it's got an i7. I was like, hey, what's going on there? So I went into the BIOS and nearly everything is already either turned off or whatever. So if you don't know what you're doing, then you're gonna go like, this is, this is just a dodgy laptop. So I went into the BIOS and actually used, said just use the dedicated graphics card. Immediately, huge improvement. Turned on turbo as well, um, so it can use those extra cores you want to. I mean, I've gone in and actually changed the settings too, so immediately, as soon as it starts up, it uses eight cores immediately. Um, so yeah, it's, it's really awesome. The one thing that I have been impressed about um, is when I come to here, yes, I have Grand Theft Auto 5 running on it. It's unbelievable. I mean, I had, I didn't think it was gonna actually work, to tell you the truth. And um, it does, it actually runs. And I'm, as I said, like I'm running, I've got like um, about like, I think it's just over two gigabytes um, of dedicated graphics and um, it's you know pretty awesome it's some of the things that i can and can't do um you know it, it's it's just great i thought that especially with my other my gaming computer my desktop um there was certain things that i couldn't do on that but i mean that's got a f three gigabyte graphics card this has got two so I was quite I was quite happy when I did the bench test on Grand Theft Auto I was running at around about 25 frames minimal I think was around about 11 so that's cool and I mean like Need for Speed runs great it doesn't matter any of these I thought oh it's gonna it's not gonna do well but everything I've thrown at it at the moment has actually worked very well so yeah um, so we'll get into a bit of a couple of the specs then I guess um, uh, where are we? So, so yeah, so running Windows 10 Pro, um, okay, stupid bloody phone. Anyway, Windows 10 Pro, um, you're running it an i7. 2760QM, uh, 2.4 gigahertz, 16 gigabytes of RAM, 64-bit. Uh, so when I first started this, I actually went to the BIOS and I told it to start up with the USB and I just did the whole thing. I went to the Microsoft store and I have to say, if you're going to do this, the I'll have to, like I don't know, try and put a link or message me or something like that because the original Mo Microsoft 10 Pro or even just Windows 10, disk in digital form is really hard to find. Microsoft doesn't want, don't want you to have it. They, you know, it's been really, really hard to find. So I finally found it and then used a program called Rufus. Um, it took like about, sugar, I think it took nearly an hour to actually put it onto the USB. Once it started though, you obviously, I think you get like 30 days or something like that before it'll like, just say this isn't activated. So what I did is I first started it up and I tried with the with the actual the key that this came with and it said it didn't work. It said it wasn't valid. So I was like, okay. Um, and then, so what I decided to do is I decided to update it and I updated it and updated it. And I was using Driver Booster as well. Before I, I, I let Windows 10 actually start up, and I let Driver Booster start up as well, which is usually what I do with, with each one of my laptops. And it said that all updates have been done. And I was thinking that's impossible. So one of the key features I think with Windows 10 as well is that it'll actually start up um, with, it'll actually update. So things, like, programs like, um, you know, um, Driver Booster and, and stuff like that, you don't need them, you, you just, I, well, I didn't need it anyway. Windows 10 has been doing it, um, you know, all for me, which is awesome. I didn't, I honestly didn't think that it had actually 
um, yeah, work. So, so what I did is that it wouldn't let me use it. So I updated it again, and I updated it, and I until it just could not update anymore. So it kept on going, kept on going, and then it did a major patch. Like I had something on here, I can't remember what it was, um, but it it made me uninstall it. It was just like a small program, like a, a tune-up program or something. I was thinking, oh, okay. And um, so I uninstalled it. I told it what it needed to do. It restarted. So it was like a major, like, um, it, I, it, I don't think it was a service pack or anything, but something had to be majorly done. And it restarted about three or four times. And once that actually happened, um, I went back in and I put my key in and it's it activated it. So it's... To begin with, I think you need to actually allow it to go completely through on its first cycle and don't install any like little little silly programs or whatever like I did, um, which I usually do. My little my little um, mixed bag of, um, of install goodies, which is what I do. Um, but it, it worked. So you can use these older computers if they actually have their genuine key, um, but you, it's better for me that I feel is to do a fresh install and just start all over again. Um, but yeah, so I'll show you here. So if we go to settings, um, and then we can go to graphics, and as you can see here. So I'm using something like um, 1353 of uh, 2047. So and resolution is 1594 it runs it runs really well too um, which is something I didn't think would actually happen um, but it does so there you go guys this was um, a $370 laptop um, yeah it's yes okay I've spent a tiny bit of money on it but it's nothing you know out there and really I know people probably gonna give me hate over this and probably say no but this is this is on par with some of the highest ones out there maybe like your 14x Alienware or something like that it can it can do it and I mean the good thing about this as well is that the CD drive on this instantly pops out and then you can get these things on eBay which cost you like ten dollars for an and it just pops in there and you put a hard drive in it as well so you can upgrade this again to another you know you can get a two terabyte or something so you could you can do a lot with this you really really can I mean USB's um, 3.0's already um, you know you've got monitors out um, and the graphics card as well can actually handle up to another two monitors which is great um, you know you have your your SD card and stuff like that reader but yeah this works um, it's a good good um, laptop for somebody that's running low on on you know or on a budget as such um, yeah Lenovo W520 it's great and um, you know it's less than probably what you're going to be buying for a brand new one that what well, has an Intel Atom or something like that and this kicks absolute butt and you can play all I wouldn't say all the latest games but as you can see Grand Theft Auto 5 is probably one of the de most demanding games for graphics and it runs this no problem at all um, given it's not, you know, overly perfect, but it looks better than any next-gen console anyway. So, alright. Thanks for watching, guys. Out.